got many requests for more conversation around the vagus nerve when I posted my earlier video. Uh, so I thought, well, let me give little snippets about the vagus nerve and we'll build the story together and eventually someday you can watch 10 videos on the vagus nerve. Uh, but for now, let's talk about the nuclei of the vagus nerve. The nuclei, a cell has a nucleus. Do we mean the, the nucleus of the vagus nerve cell? No. By nuclei, I mean the concentrations of cell bodies that are located in the medulla oblongata. The medulla oblongata is part of your brain stem. It's the lower portion of the brain stem before it transitions into the spinal cord. So that's where the vagus nerve fibers come from. And I say fibers because there's a lot of them. We're not really talking about one nerve, one neuron here. We're talking about a grouping of neurons that are based, you know, that are, that are originating in your medulla oblongata, which is about as big as your thumb. So for comparison here, this is a really big medulla oblongata belonging to a giant. But this, <laughs> this is the size of your medulla oblongata. So the nuclei represent those cell concentrations out of which fibers proceed, you know, out the size of the medulla oblongata. So there are four of them that are identified by anatomists in no particular order. <laughs> the dorsal motor nucleus of the vagus nerve sends fibers that stimulate motor activity at a distance from here in the medulla oblongata. I've color-coded them. So here's our dorsal motor vagal nucleus. All right, and they're paired. Now, what about the red one? The nucleus ambiguous. It sounds very ambiguous. Well, it was to the anatomists who discovered these things. They were like, is it really a nucleus? Can we really identify a particular cluster here? It seemed ambiguous to them, but eventually they were like, yeah, I think we got it. And it became more clear. So the nucleus ambiguous is no longer ambiguous, except in its name. So the nucleus ambiguous here also is sending efferent or outgoing motor fibers. Some would say primarily above the diaphragm. Dorsal motor primarily below the diaphragm, but they're kind of mixed. They're all over the place. We're talking about majority of fibers. What about the solitary tract? So the solitary tract is actually attractive neurons that are afferent. They're going from the organs. It's the, primary, it's the primary pathway of afferent fibers from your organs to your, to your brain here, to your brain stem. And some of those fibers are participating in the vagus bundle. Not all of them, but some of them. And finally, the spinal trigeminal nucleus. So the tractus spinalis trigeminal nerva, nervi, right? Or something like that in Latin, right? And that is actually little uh, afferent fibers coming from your ears and the back of your tongue and your epiglottis uh, are sending uh, via the vagus nerve uh, sensory information from those places. So that's one of the kind of a minor Contributor, contributor to the vagus bundle. This is a major contributor from your organs in general, and maybe the, the third most uh, of them. The nucleus ambiguous and the dorsal motor are much more substantial in their contribution to the vagus nerves bundle, right? So think of it as a grouping, and that this is a complex. And because they're coming from different places, on the medulla oblongata, they're having different functions. And that's why the vagus nerve is so interesting because it's, it's prolonged throughout the body and, and it's touching the same organs and doing different things with them. So we could go much further into the details of the, of these, uh, of the contributions of these different uh, vagal nuclei, but rather than belaboring that, we might save that for another video just to get across the basic point that the vagus nerve comes from different groupings of neurons in the medulla oblongata that are going in both directions 
and it's complicated. <laughs> so there's, a, there's a, a beginning intro to the dorsal vagal nuclei. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you'd like to study more with me, go to gilheadley.com. There's a ton of stuff there. Enjoy.